Hey, do you hate selling? Does it just feel gross, sleazy, vulnerable? Two, T-O-O. Hey, welcome. We're going to talk about seven non-salesy self-promotion secrets. But first, I have to confess, I was horrified. I don't even, I can't even believe I'm teaching on this topic today because the whole idea of selling, of promoting myself was frankly horrifying to me and cringe city. And you know what? When I saw other people promoting themselves, I was filled with judgment. So already I'm telling you one of the insights, I'm not even sure I put it on my list. I had so many ideas pop into my head when I was making this list because you guys said that's what you wanted to hear about today. The seven non-salesy self-promotion secrets. The first thing that I remember when selling felt so painfully awful and gross and why do I have to do it? I just want to do the work I'm here to do. I know people are transforming. I know people's lives are opening up. I know their businesses are blooming and flourishing and I know I can help them. But I don't want to have to market and promote. It's too gross. I hate it. That was my like 25 years I ran a business with that mindset, right? It didn't go very well. It didn't go very far. And when I thought today about what are these seven insights and tools that I wanted to share with you, the first thing I remembered was how much judgment I had when I saw people selling. It offended me. It irritated me. And I judged them. I judged them as greedy or arrogant or full of themselves or obnoxious, all of those things. And that, you know, when we're having negative feelings, who is really suffering? We are. And that judgment was based in my own fear and vulnerability around inviting people to work with me. So uh, I'm super grateful for this topic because I got to see, you know, whoa, I'm in a totally different mindset. And because I'm in a different mindset, uh, you know, mindset is over 90% of the whole ball of wax. Selling, marketing, business, life, relationships. Mindset is at the core of it all. If you want to be free, if you want to transform, if you want to uh, make a big impact, if you want to live the life of your dreams, it starts in here. So say hey if you're here. Give me some hearts and loves. Hi, Corey. Love having you here. Maggie May, you are here. Um, I got to talk to you. I had a great call with your team yesterday. Um, so mindset. What are these non-salesy self-promotion secrets? I could come up with probably 70, but I'm going to cover multiple ones in each of the topics. We're going to count down seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, um, in a random order that I just picked uh, moments before our call today. So the first thing, when I had all that judgment against those other people who were selling, I was really turning that around on me and I was mortified. People are going to judge me. People are going to, uh, you know, think that I don't care that I'm just in it for the money uh, all of, or that I'm full of myself or that I'm like them, those salesy people, right? And that kept me stuck, kept me struggling, kept me striving. So the number seven tip that I want to talk to you about first is the value, owning your value and trusting yourself. If you want to connect to a way of inviting people to work with you, uh, it starts with you. And all that judgment that I have was based in my, what had years ago was in based on in my insecurity. Am I good enough? Do people want what I have? Do uh, you know what if I'm not saying anything that's unique? What if somebody's already said it all before me? So you know, owning and, and finding support, you know, first of all, clearing and healing those blocks and fears and judgments, super important. Doing the mindset work and mindset is tricky. You need, most often we need outside support for that, right? Because we can kid ourselves. Those little lies we tell ourselves, right? So it starts with non-salesy self-promotion secret number seven is own your value. 
go to any lengths to own your value. When you own your value, you will trust yourself. And then if you trust yourself, it's going to be a whole lot easier to talk to people about what you do and invite them to work with you. Yeah? Uh, I did want to say at the beginning of this call, if you don't talk about what you do, you don't want to talk about it. You just want to do it. You just want the clients to come to you. Well, that's a mindset job. And it starts with, you know, if you don't talk about your work, you won't have any work to talk about. You will have way less work to talk about, right? So that's what selling is. And you know what? Everything you do in life could be considered selling. I'm selling my kids on going to school. Failed at that today. Um, you know, selling my husband on let's take this trip or I'm, you know, selling my neighbor on we're going to make a new fence. Whatever we're doing, you, you know, you can consider that selling. And so somewhere along the lines, we made this idea of selling bad and so look for your judgments and start to unlock your own voice around uh, inviting people to work with you and sharing what you do. So we did number seven, owning your value and trusting yourself, trusting your gift, trusting your ability to serve, trusting that you're not a sleazebag just trying to get money. It can be hard because another part of that mindset work is like, I need a client, right? That fear. So doing that inner game stuff and owning, start number seven, start with owning your value and trusting yourself. Okay. And there's lots of tools. There's lots of books. Uh, most often I would say working with a mentor, I've worked with a lot of energy healers. Um, what, do what you got to do in order to own your value and trust yourself, trust in your gift. Okay, number six, da -da 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 -da. who's here? Say hearts if you're here. Amen, sister, Maggie, I love you. Um, aligned messaging and language. What does that mean? That sounds like jargon. So trusting yourself, owning your value, and then finding the words that feel good, right? Finding the words that are true. If you're speaking the truth, there's nothing sleazy about it, right? And there's an art to that. We also need to find the language that resonates with our clients. So we want alignment from ourselves, but we also want to find the aligned language of our clients, all right? And you know the great place to start doing that is to ask them. What are their challenges? What are their struggles? What do they want, okay? So when you're in alignment, with your language, with your messaging, and your messaging, and you're speaking to that ideal client in language that they're aligned with, that's serving up what they need, what they're looking for, it isn't selling. It doesn't feel yucky. It feels like, oh yeah, it's got that aha feeling, right? Instead of feeling icky. And then it's just a conversation. It's a conversation that could be transformation and, uh, and, 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 uh, prosperous for you both, right? So number seven, own your value and trust yourself, okay? How do you do that? So, you know, it can be short and quick and easy, uh, and it can be a lifetime journey, right? It can be layer by layer. Number six, aligned message and language. So you're in alignment with what you're doing and, and how you serve and who you serve and, and feel, finding the words that feel good to you. You're also finding the words that are in alignment with your client, okay? There's an art to that, but it's not rocket science. Uh, aligned message number five here's the deal selling being willing to talk about your work your gift your product your program your insights your wisdom in a way that invites people to work with you so that they will get the transformation or the results that working with you will provide is the ultimate service. Selling is serving. That is one of the things that completely rewired my relationship to self-promotion. Okay? Selling is serving. I posted in this group, you can scroll for it or search for Christian Michelson, did a, posted a little snippet of one of his trainings, uh, one of his events that I was at. I've heard him say it many times. Your marketing, your messaging, your self-promotion, you know, you're really not promoting yourself. You're promoting the transformation you can bring for somebody. You're promoting uh, the, the impact you can make. You're, pro you know, you're promoting their way out, right? And he says, in that video clip, you can find it here in the group, uh, that your marketing 
is going to make the biggest impact in the world because more people are going to see and hear your marketing, your self-promotion, you know, you're promoting your message, you're promoting a solution that they're looking for, right? More people are going to hear that than you'll ever be able to work with or that will ever meet with you in person and that you'll touch directly. So your marketing and your self-promotion is the ultimate service. Help one person. And this is, of course, creating high-value, content-rich, results-oriented, education-based marketing. So you're just doing what you do, and somebody's going to be benefited by that. And then learning how to also include a way for them to go further and get the bigger result by working with you. Yeah? Selling is serving. Self-promotion is serving. It's your biggest service, okay? Uh, number four. I had such a challenge putting these in order. It's a little bit random, but we're going to go with it. Here's a, here's a tool of permission. This is my tool of permission for you. We have to have our own permission. We have to give ourselves permission. Here's the thing. Your self-promotion is not about you. It's about your clients. It's about them being able to find you and get the results that you can help them get. It's about helping them and serving again, right? Selling is serving. So number four, remember, this is your new mantra, it's not about me. So if I'm feeling nervous about making a video or I'm feeling self-conscious about my email or I have to pick up the phone to make a sales call and they're gonna think and I'm a bit of a da and I'm feeling insecure and nervous, I can say to this, say this to myself, it is not about you. And I can be willing to feel all that fear and act on their behalf anyway. Okay, I'll pick up the phone anyway. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple more tools on how to make that more doable. All right, because I don't really believe in bootstrapping. This isn't about bootstrapping and just being able to like force yourself into it because then that energy of forcing is going to impact your ability to connect and your, your clients and potential clients are gonna feel that force and that's when it starts to feel what? Salesy, okay? So this is about permission, surrender, and allowing. It's not about you. You are willing to pick up the phone on their behalf because you might be able to help them and they are looking for that help. Number three, how can you do it? How can you pick up the phone and be like, hey, I just wanted to follow up with you because you said you were interested in this thing and I'd love to help you out, right? Um, number three, here's how you do it. First of all, you remember that your mission, your message, the, the results that you can bring, the transformation that you can help them achieve is more important, is your top priority than how you feel than how you fear they will judge you even than your own self-judgment all right you're willing to do it because you're hundred percent committed to getting your work your gifts your mission message product program or service out there to anyone who needs it even if it's scary okay your mission and message the service you provide is more important than your fear, your self-doubt, your perfectionism, your insecurity. Okay? You're going to do it for them if you can't do it for you. Okay? Yes. Number two. Drum roll, please. We got lots of hearts. Thank you for those hearts. I have a new setup. I have my camera up here because the lighting in the studio is different. I'm at my teaching studio instead of my home office today because I did a webinar this morning. And uh, it looks like there's a little delay and things are jumping around. So my computer's down here. It's all different. Um, taking risks, being brave, up leveling. All right. Number two. And I promise you this is true. You are unique. And there are clients people who need you. I did a message on my personal page yesterday, a live on my personal page, um, about finding and freeing our self-expression. That's what we're here to do. Your thing, your perspective, your expertise, your gift, your song, your product, your program, your, the way you do it, the way you say it, the way you think of it, the way that you put your thoughts together, totally unique. And if you don't share that as big as you can, then there's a part of you that never exists, a part of what you're here to do that goes 
uncreated. All right, I was quoting Martha Graham yesterday, famous quote uh, that she says, she's a, an American choreographer, and she says, there's a vitality, a quickening, a life force that is in you, and it is unique to you, and if you block it, then that goes unexpressed for all of time. It just doesn't exist. So somebody's going to miss out on that gift that you're here to bring, okay? You are unique, and there are people who need you exactly the way you are, the way you've put it together, the way you say it, okay? And then number one, what are we doing? Non-salesy self-promotion secrets. To feel free, to feel allowed and aligned, you have owned your value and you trust yourself. You've got an aligned message. It's aligned with you and your heart and your gift, and it's aligned with the client's that you're talking to, your aligned clients, right? And you know that selling is serving and you're willing to let it not be about you. You're let your mission and your message be more important than your insecurity. Even if you stumble, even if it's not perfect, even if you feel like a dork, uh, you're willing to put it out there because somebody might be served. It is about them. And you're trusting and you're knowing and you're telling yourself all day every day that you are unique and if you do not share your gifts freely, your mission, your message freely, then somebody might miss out and a part of you will never exist. It's like a flower that never blooms, right? It's an acorn that never turns into a tree, right? An, an oak tree. Uh, and so you've done all that. You're doing all that. That's where you're living from. That's where your mindset is coming from. And then when you can embody your message. So it's in you and you know where to find it in your thoughts and your voice and your mouth have the language and the words and you can stay in your body and with your breath, your whole body. So you have whole hearted, whole body connection and permission and ownership of your value and trusting yourself. And you've embodied that message so deeply then Selling is nothing. Everything is selling. It all becomes one. You're working intuitively. You're plugged into your higher purpose, your permission, your freedom, your messaging, and it's all in you. Then there isn't a line or a division between, oh, now I have to self-promote. Now I'm going to talk like I'm promoting myself, and now I have to get salesy and self-promotion, right? It's just like, oh, yeah, this is what I do, and I love to help people do this, and you're in the flow, you're in the zone, because it's embodied. It's all in you, yeah? And that takes some practice, and it takes some guidance, and it takes some courage, and it takes some resilience and persistence and consistency. Uh, consistency. You have to be consistent with it, right? You can't, don't give up on yourself. You got to keep getting back in the park and swinging. But when you do, you will find those words. You will find your own permission. You will find your own value and that trust and confidence in yourself. And that is when you start to draw people who want what you have. They want what you have and you're firing on all cylinders so that you're a beacon, you're a light, you're a magnet. And they go, oh, I want what she has. And then they will come to you. And you're not apologizing or hiding when you talk about ways that they can work with you. And you're not shrinking and cringing when you say, this is the investment that you're making in yourself when we decide to work together. And you're owning your value. Yeah? So... Corey knows I am talking directly to her. I love you, Corey. I'm talking, yes. Um, Steve Garvin, you and I have been on the same wavelength for a couple of years now. I love that you're here. Thank you. Thanks for saying so. I love being on your wavelength. Um, yay, Steve's going live in his group today. Woo! I love it. I love it. So those are my non-salesy self-promotion secrets. Number seven, own your value. Trust yourself. Go to any lengths, get any help, invest in any program, mentor, guide, healer that you need to, to own your value and trust yourself. It feels like flying. It's so freeing. And I'm telling you that from somebody who doubted hardcore for decades, okay? I'm a recovered self-doubter hater. Doesn't mean I don't have waves of self-doubt. I had one a few minutes before this call. But I can see the truth and I can access that ownership and that trust in myself. Number six, your aligned message, you're aligned with your language, you're aligned with what you're doing, it feels good, it's what you want. And your language is also aligned with those ideal clients that you're ready to serve. 
okay? Number five, selling is serving. Everything you do is, everything you say is selling something, as our friend Jen Mayers says in her very catchy copywriting song, everything you say is selling something. And selling is serving. If you're willing to let people invest and work with you, they are going to get the transformation that only you can provide, the only the way, you're the only one who can provide it the way you provide it. Okay, number four, it's not about you. It's about them. Be willing to serve them over your own insecurities and perfectionism and self-judgment. Number three, your message. You place that message mission, the people you could serve and help, at the top of your priority list. That is more important than anything, including your own uncertainty. Number two, you are totally unique, and there are clients in this world who need you exactly the way you bring it. And number one, embody your message. Again, that's how you up-level. That's how it gets fun and free and fast. So those are the seven non-salesy self-promotion secrets that I have for you today. I'd love to know which one resonates with you, whether you're here live or watching the replay. Which one uh, are you going to pick out of the bucket to uh, expand around and investigate today? And what what would be the game changer for you? What are you waiting for? What do you need in order to embody these principles and put them to work so that you can be freed up and on fire fast forward to helping and serving people and being paid well to do it? Yeah? What do you need? I'd love to know. You could totally private message me. If you're like, I realized this, or I had this realization, or I'm stuck on this thing, I would love to know it, because I'll create content just for you. All right? Thanks for being here. Any other hearts, comments, likes? What am I looking? Okay. Amen, sister. Yay. I'm going to like you all. Thanks for being here. And I would love to, I have a poll up in this group if you want to go in, and there's a couple more choices to um uh, pick what we're talking about next week, but I'm really feeling on this uh, self-expression uh, kick and uh, even thinking about uh, taking out a pilot that I did a couple years ago and making that available for running that program again, recreating, doing, doing a deep dive in the uh, Give Voice to Your Vision pilot program that I did, I guess, about a year and a half ago. And I was just looking at that and thinking about revising that content. So if you're interested in knowing more about that pilot program, also definitely just say pilot in the comments below when you're, if you're here live or when you're watching the replay. And I will keep you guys posted on the timing of that. Um, and so that you can have my support owning your value and finding your aligned message and language of your clients and connecting to the truth of selling as service and remembering and using tools to know it's not about you and that your message and mission are more important and that you are unique and your clients need you and how to specifically embody your message. So it's flowing right now. Thanks for being here. Corey loves it all. Love you guys. I'll see you next week. You know, you can invite other people here to this group too. So this is a public group and I'm here to serve as many people as possible. All right. Thanks for being here. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm going to go outside and play and I'm sending you all my love. Okay. Don't hide. Be you, be you, be you and share your gifts. I'll see you soon.